Welcome to our demonstration of Metasoft Mobile, a new application that is designed to work with Metasoft and make your uh, practice management system available on an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. Metasoft Mobile uh, is available on the App Store today for free and uh, you can download it onto any of those devices. On today's demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Metasoft Mobile to electronically capture charges and diagnosis codes and enter those into Metasoft from anywhere that you have an internet connection. So the screen that I have up right now is the main login screen of Metasoft Mobile, at which point I'm going to log in with my username and password that I use to log into Metasoft. When you log in to Metasoft Mobile, you're going to be brought to a schedule screen that is used as a work list to drive the entry of your charges and diagnosis codes into Metasoft. On this screen, you're going to see some basic information. Uh, you'll see your patients listed in the order that they're going to be coming in for the day. So if you see over here in the left-hand side, I have Office Hours Professional open with my appointments. And here I have Metasoft Mobile, and you'll see the exact same appointments in the exact same order. This is a real-time feed of appointment information from Metasoft into Metasoft Mobile. So if I show you how quick that is, I can schedule an appointment here in Metasoft for uh, Susan Brimley. We'll save that appointment. And if I come over into Metasoft Mobile, you will notice that immediately Susan Brimley is available. So this is a real-time data feed from Metasoft installed in your office to your iPad or iPhone. Now the information that you see there on the screen is, uh, is identical to what you have in Metasoft. So the color of the appointment, we have John Borden here in blue. It's blue on the iPad as well. On the iPhone, it, it will be the same. Uh, the other information that you'll see, you'll see the appointment start time, the appointment stop time, the length of the appointment, the appointment reason, and then you'll see icons that will denote the appointment check-in status. You also have the ability to see a week view for a single provider, or you can see a multiple provider view. If you wanted to see multiple provider schedules, you could go through, tap, it would load those appointments. If I had them scheduled, they'd be there and you'd see each provider's schedule for that day. As I said, the purpose of this app is to allow you to very easily and quickly do your billing from within uh, Metasoft Mobile. So if I highlight Jay Brimley, you'll see on the left-hand side the patient's name, their copay amount, their guarantor balance, which is their family balance, the primary insurance carrier, the referring provider, and on the referring provider on the iPhone version, it will actually let you call them, the reason for the appointment, and any notes that you have attached to that appointment. So in this case, uh, Jay is allergic to latex. So uh, the way that you use this, you tap on it, highlight the appointment in orange, and tap enter charges. When I tap enter charges, I'm going to be brought to a super bill screen where it's very easy for me to go through and enter charges just like I would on a paper super bill. If you imagine the way that a paper super bill is used in an office, the doctor is either circling or putting a check mark next to the uh, procedures and diagnosis codes that they'd like to go on the bill. On Metasoft Mobile, it's just as simple. You select your office visit by tapping on it. We'll select bronchitis as my diagnosis code. I did a chest x-ray and I want the patient to come back in two weeks. All I did was tap on those codes. I tap submit. I'm brought back to my scheduler screen where I have a little green check mark that shows that Jay Brimley has charges that were submitted for him. And if I come back into Metasoft into my unprocessed transaction screen, you'll see immediately I have charges waiting here for Jay Brimley. Our unprocessed transaction screen is a holding tank where transactions are placed as they await a biller review. Your biller would come in, view the transaction in unprocessed transactions. Here they would be able to change the order. They'd be able to make sure the diagnosis codes were appropriate. They could uh, change modifiers or units. And once they have approved those transactions, they click post, 
and those transactions are now in transaction entry under Jay Brindley ready to go off onto a claim. We've had many offices uh, implement this and we have found that you can see up to a 60% increase in the speed of data entry simply through the implementation of Metasoft Mobile. Now let me show you a couple other great features of Metasoft Mobile. Uh, if you have a patient who walks in or is not on the schedule, you can tap the charges button at the bottom of the screen where you're brought to a blank super bill. If you have a blank super bill, up at the top you'll have the ability to select your facility. So if I tap facility, I can say I'm at the nursing home or at the hospital and all of the charges that go across will have that facility selected. I can select my provider since it's not coming over automatically from the schedule. And most importantly, I can select a patient where I can search in real time my Metasoft database of patients where uh, I will then be presented with their name and their date of birth. I select the patient that I'd like and I can see some basic information there at the top for the patient, at which point I'm also able to go through and select uh, my codes. Now let me show you a few more features of Metasoft Mobile. If there are codes that I don't have attached to my Superbill template, then all I need to do is click this little plus button up at the top of a section, and you have the ability to specify which sections you want to have that plus on. But if I tap that, I have the option to search the Metasoft database for procedure and diagnosis codes. So if I tap procedure, and I search either by code or description, I can find any code that's in the Metasoft database that it might not be on my Superbill layout. I can select that code, hit add, and now I have added that code to my Superbill for that particular patient. The discharge instructions, I showed you how you could do come back in two weeks. I didn't show you how you can add any other note that you want to send to the biller or the, the front desk staff. So if I tap this blank box at the bottom of my discharge instructions, I'm given a text where I can type anything that I want. So if, for example, I wanted to give the patient instructions there on bed rest, I wanted the checkout staff to make sure they knew that, I can type bed rest, tap done, and now I have a note that's going to go into Metasoft putting that patient on bed rest. Additionally, I have the ability on my Superbill to create hyperlinks to any other website that is out there. So, if for example I wanted to do e-prescribing from my iPad, I could create a hyperlink to my e-prescribing website where I would then be asked to log in and I can do my e-prescribing, at which point when I come back into Metasoft Mobile, I will be asked for a PIN that will validate that I am who I say I am, that I have access to the data, and I'm brought right back to the same point on my super bill. I tap submit, and if I come over here into Metasoft and show you how that went in, you'll notice that I have my two charges there for Dwight again. If I edit those charges, you'll see the top line has my note. If I tap that, you'll see the two notes that I entered. Come back in two weeks and bed rest. So anything that I wanted to communicate back to that staff, I have the ability to do using that note entry field on Metasoft Mobile. Now, the Superbill entry screen is fully customizable. You can make it match your provider's Superbill. You, uh, you can add the codes that you use in your office, and it's very easy to do so. All you need to do is tap the Setup button at the bottom where you're brought to a screen where you have the ability to add a section. So if I tap Add Section, I can name that section whatever I want, hit Done, and now I have a new section here on my Superbill that will allow me to enter codes. If I wanted to enter codes, I tap the plus button where I can add procedure codes, diagnosis codes, free text fields, canned text fields, or a URL. Procedure and diagnosis code will search the Metasoft database just like the plus button did on the other screen. Free text adds those blank boxes that will allow you to type whatever you want. Canned text is giving you the ability to do a, a predefined note, like come back in two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, etc. 
and then a URL is allowing you to create a name and then a link to any website that you'd like to place on your, uh, on your Superbill template. So if I add a few procedure codes just to show you how easy it is, I'll search for the nine, just pick any codes that I would like, hit add, and now that box is populated with the codes that I selected from Metasoft. If you want to move a, a section around, all you do is tap on the heading, hold it, and you can drag that section wherever you'd like it to go and uh, arrange your super bill in a way that meets your needs. If you want to get rid of a section, you can do that. If you want to remove all fields from a section, you can do that as well. I'm going to remove this section just to show you how easy that is. The last thing that I want to show you with the configuration of this is that if I tap this box right here, it gives me uh, a green circle with a plus in it. Tapping that green circle with the plus in it will allow me to specify the description that shows on my super bill as well as creating default modifiers and units so that the biller doesn't even have to remember to enter the modifiers. The doctor will enter the code, the modifier, and the units with a single tap of their, uh, of their iPad or iPhone, and all the biller needs to do is review it. So it really is that easy to set up your super bill. You can save that, and it will be reflected immediately. You can also save as creating a different template for each uh, provider if you'd like. Any template that you create within one practice will be automatically ported over to every other device that connects to that practice. Metasoft Mobile allows as many devices as you'd like to connect to the same practice within Metasoft. Uh, you even have the ability to connect to multiple practices from a single device if you so choose. It's very easy to, to use. If you want more information concerning Metasoft Mobile, I would encourage you to reach out to your local value-added reseller. Uh, like I said, Metasoft Mobile is a free app on the Apple App Store right now. Uh, it is compatible with Metasoft version 18 Service Pack 2. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.